Hi friends. In this video, I'm going how to make this beautiful ladies top. How to crochet this beautiful ladies top with the pineapple motif. Here in front, I have used the pineapple motif and another pattern for the whole top so in this video I will explain step by step how I did it it's a really nice ladies top but a lot of work but it did it doesn't take much time if you concentrate, concentrate and do it continuously. So here we are going to start. This is the yarn I used. Crochet, crochet yarn, cotton and short colors very beautiful short colors I used 2.5 crochet hook you can also use 2 or 3 so let's start slip knot and chains I started from the next side so I did it from top to bottom as this start we do the chain first hundred and forty chains at first I made hundred and forty and then start making double crochets at the end of hundred and forty I made another two chains and start to fill every chain with double crochet here we go with double crochets first row with double crochets so now I'm going to end the first row of double crochets from here
now we will join the two corners together like this to make it as a circle because I am not going to keep any open space in front I joined like this even at the end of the chain you can join it if you wish now the beginning of the third row or the second row of double crochets so three chains to the first double crochet and then a double crochet again to the next chain another double crochet now we have included three double crochets now to the fourth double crochet I insert two double crochets to the same hole or two, tub, two double crochets in every fourth double crochet of the previous row to make the chain into a circular shape otherwise it will remain as a strip so to make it as a circular shape I included two double crochets into the same one with double crochets third double crochet round also I have inserted here you can see in third one also to every sixth or seventh double crochet I inserted two double crochets into the same hole so that it will maintain the circular shape you can change the frequency of adding double double crochets or pair of double crochets according to the size now i'm going to start the next row fourth row of double crochets so a double crochet at the beginning another double crochet two chains and into the same hole another two double crochets so in the in this one the first double crochet I inserted two double crochets two chains and another two chains and now leave and into the fifth double crochet insert a double crochet another double crochet two chains and again two double crochets into the same hole and leave two chains and insert 
to the third double crochet uh, front force double crochet front force double crochet to the third double crochet then leave one chain and double crochet leave one double crochet and insert to the next double crochet a V stitch that is a double crochet and a chain and another double crochet and again leave another double crochet and to the next double crochet insert another front post double crochet again so in this the pattern is a front post double crochet and then this round goes goes in the pattern of a V stitch and a front post double crochet leave in one double crochet again leave another double crochet and a V stitch a front post double crochet V stitch front post double crochet V stitch Before the end of this row, we have to make another pair of 4 double crochets in the same double crochet with 2 chains in the middle. So we are going to start a pineapple motif exactly at front. So here now I have inserted a pair of four double crochets and then two chains and joined it to the beginning of our fourth row like this. Now we have four, three pairs of double crochets, one in front and two by the sides. One in left side and the other one in right side so we are going to insert the pineapple to the middle one therefore we should have balanced these pairs of double crochets now to the middle pair of four double crochets i'm inserting two chains So it can be considered as a double crochet, another double crochet, so another double crochet, three double crochets, so to be the three chains in the middle, <coughs> three chain, three double crochets, three chains and again three double crochets to the same pair of double crochets we made first and now two chains and insert a pair of four double crochets in the two chains we made in the middle of the four pairs in the previous row so previous row we made two double crochets two chains and another two double crochets we do the same thing to that pair in this round as well 
so middle one we made three double crochets three chains and another three double crochets next one we make two double crochets two chains and another two chains uh, two double crochets and we continue the rest of the rows as we did in the previous row but to the V stitch this round I inserted two chains instead of one chain I inserted in the previous round so to the hole of the V stitch a double crochet two chains and a double crochet that means this round also our circle will be little bit extended with the two chains in the middle of the V stitches and then the front pose we do continuously without any break so we stitch with two chains in the middle and front pose till we come to the end of this row This is the row I am going to start the pineapple motif. So in the first four double crochet pairs to the middle chain I am going to start uh, in, include eight double crochets. So as the beginning three chains and then insert a double crochet. The first three chains we can consider as a double crochet. And in addition, I added another six double crochets. So here I have included eight double crochets into the middle chain and then two chains and four double crochet pairs to the next Four double crochet pairs we have made in the previous row so two chains and then two double crochets two chains in the middle again two double crochets and the rest of the row we complete as we did in the previous row itself so after inserting the four double crochet pair we go normally with one front pose double crochet and the V stitch with two chains in the middle and then front post double crochet and we continue the same pattern until we meet the last uh, four double crochet pair uh, before the pineapple motif.
row the second row of the pineapple motif so in this row i will design like this three chains and to the next double crochet and a chain and to the next double crochet again a chain to the next <coughs> double crochet so to all double crochets I inserted in this cluster I did a double crochet and a chain and a double crochet to the next double crochet so the eight double crochets I inserted in the previous row will be expanded now and then after the final one two chains and uh, four pair double crochets to the next four double crochet pairs we inserted in the previous row with two chains in the middle and the rest of the row will be done in the same way as we did in the previous row here now the beginning of the pineapple motif the eight double crochets are expanded now it looks like a flower and now we will continue in the same way as we did in the previous row a front post double crochet and we stitches with two chains there's no change until we go to the end of this row
in this row to get the pineapple design how I did is three chains and insert a single crochet into the chain we made in the previous round so three chains and a single crochet to the space or the chain we have made in the previous row so every time we make three chains and insert it as a single crochet to the next chain we have made in the previous row like this three chains and a single crochet three chains and single crochet to the last chain we have made and now we have seven pairs of uh, three chains now and we insert uh, four pair four pairs of double crochets into the same two chains we have left in the previous row and a front post double crochet we continue it until the end of the item and the V stitches with two chains in the middle we continue that
Thank you.